beautiful. It is your girl Chevy here and I am so excited to be in beautiful Austin, Texas with you. Thank you for joining me today for this full body strength workout. You ready to do this? I know I'm ready to do this, so let's get after it. First things first, you know we gotta warm up. So I'm just gonna start off with a couple arm circles because I just feel like that's what I need. I need to reach for what I want, what I need and what I deserve. And take a couple forward for me. Nice bend in the knees. Thank you for showing up today, girl. Woo! We're gonna have some fun. This is gonna be a sweaty one. So let's do a couple vinyasas because you know me, I'm a yoga girl. That's when I really started to fall in love with myself was when I started to really hone in on my yoga. So let's start with the yoga right here. Take an inhale, reach up. Give me a strong mountain pose, channeling that strength that is uniquely within you. Take an inhale. On your exhale, give me a back bend. Ooh, open up the shoulders, press your hips forward. Take another inhale, come on up to mountain. On your exhale, rotate open. Just feel it, that side body stretch, shoulder mobility, spinal rotation. Come on back to center. And rotate open the other way. Good, like you're giving me a big old hug, girl. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, give me a halfway lift. Exhale, give me a vinyasa. So walk it out to that high plank. Bend the elbows up to 90 degrees. Flip the toes, press up. And then exhale, come on to downward facing dog. Take an inhale, gaze forward. Hop, step, or float. Inhale, halfway lift, strong through the back, warming up that beautiful body. Take another inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, open up to the right. Inhale, back to center. Open up to your left. Good, inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, give me that chaturanga. Always the option to drop to the knees here. Take an inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's hit it one more time all the way through. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, hop, step, or float. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up to mountain. Exhale, one more big juicy back bend, biggest one yet. Inhale, come on all the way up. Exhale, rotate open. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, rotate open the other way. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold. This time, just roll all the way up to standing. And take a moment right here to just set your intention for today's class. I know you were not expecting to do yoga today, but this is all about falling in love with yourself. And sometimes we have to go back to our roots to fall in love with ourselves. Go back to the very beginning, the first time you decided to press play here at Tone It Up. Hopefully that was the first time you really started to fall in love with yourself. And every single time you come back, it's a new opportunity to fall in love with your strength, girl. So set an opportunity for, set up, I said opportunity, but this is an opportunity to set your intention for today. Take an inhale, open mouth, exhale. One more time, girl, inhale. Let me feel it, exhale. All right, now it's time to get into the strength workout. You ready? I'm ready, come on down to a high plank. We're gonna hold this high plank here for about 30 seconds. Now here's the thing, I don't want your booty way up here. We're not in down dog anymore. You're not sinking down either. You are pressing strong through the shoulders, keep your belly in tight. You have another 15 seconds or so right here. Always the option to drop down to the knees if you need to, but come right back with me. In just a moment, you're gonna come down to your forearms and give me hip dips, you ready? We go together in three, in two, in one. Here we go, come down to the forearms and give me hip dips right here. So you're gonna dip it back to the center, dip it back to the center. Woo, hello core. You're here only for 15 more seconds total. Here we go, last three, last two, and one. Give me a quick recovery right here. Drop it down to the knees. All right, girl, we're gonna move into bicycles. You ready? Come on, lean over. Give me these bicycles right here. We are in our ab round fully. So, so good. So each of these moves we go through twice. You have four blocks of work today. So just trust it. Once you go through it once, 
you'll know exactly what to do for round two. Good, stay with me another 10 seconds or so, girl. Work to really go armpit to knee rather than just elbow, get that full twist. Last four, last three, last two, and one, send your legs up the wall. Give me toe touches right away. So you are reaching for the opposite toe. You don't have to touch it. We're only here 15 seconds. Beautiful, continue to breathe. Last four, last three, two, one. Give me that rest, baby. Uh, you ready to go through it again? Round two of block one of work, working into your abs, we go into that plank hold. You go into this with that strength, with that power, with that confidence in three, two, one. Come to your plank, hold and breathe. So I once heard that Cher could hold a high plank for like five, six minutes. Girl, you can do this for 30 seconds, come on. Stay with me, you've got another 18 seconds left. Breathe. Woo, belly is in tight. I feel it, I know you feel it too. That's okay. We are here to feel ourselves, baby. Last four, last three, last two. Come on down, give me those hip dips. Here it is, you are dipping back to the center. Dip and center. Continue to breathe, so it's an exhale and an inhale. Coming back to the yoga of it all, the breath to the movement, last two, and one more. Beautiful, recover, you know exactly where we're going. We hit those bicycles, so sit on that beautiful booty and lie down. We move into bicycles in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Now you always have the option here to come to the center and then twist. Center and twist. That will slow this down. Totally fine with me. Again, the most important thing you can do here is stay with me. If you need to press pause at any time, you do it, but you come back, girl. We're in it together. Come on, continue to breathe. Last three, last two, and one more, girl. Ah, oh, beautiful. Legs up the wall. You're giving me the toe touches right away. Legs up the wall, toe touches right away. I don't know about you, but I was feeling like it was ready for break time already, but we're not quite there yet. 45 seconds on. 15 seconds of break, coming in three, in two, in one. Whew. Girl, my abs are on fire, are yours? High five then, that means you're doing it right. All right, so here's what's gonna go down. You're gonna give me a squat front raise to an overhead press. It looks like this. Squat front raise into an overhead press. We go in three, in two, in one. Let's get it, girl. Squat front raise into your shoulder press. Beautiful. Drop it down low and press it up high. Slight bend in the knees here. Belly is in tight. You should feel your abs engage. All right, so we are in block two of work. Again, each move 45 seconds. Trust it, you'll get that 15 second break in just a moment. I'd like you to have medium to heavy weights for this. Always know that when you come back to this, when you press play the next time, it's a new opportunity to challenge yourself. Maybe you go up a weight class. I'm also a firm believer in listening to your body. So that also means it's totally okay to go down a weight class. Just make sure you're moving last two and one. Good, recover. I'm gonna show you the next move during this 15 second recovery, you recover. You're gonna put the weights down in front of you, legs open wide, dumbbell side row, yeah? We go together in three, Two, one, here you go. You lunge, grab that weight, give me a row. Double row, switch sides, yeah? Give me that row. So here, you are working the legs, but I also want you squeezing your shoulder blade, opening the chest. Good. You should really feel this. Always the abs are in tight. Good. Hello, legs. Hello back. You got another 15 seconds right here, girl. Good. Strong, flat back. Nice. Last three. Last two. Signature Chevy slow count. Last one. Come on, get it in. Beautiful. Next, you're gonna give me a halo into a reverse lunge. Let me show you what it looks like. It's a halo. I'm gonna step forward. There you go. It's a halo into a reverse lunge. 
We go together in three, in two, in one. So give me that halo, slight bend in the knees, belly in tight, step back into a reverse lunge, press it forward. Take that halo the other way. Oh, I admittedly get confused from time to time, like which way did I go? That's okay, just keep moving. But you're gonna rotate and lunge it back. Woo, I'm starting to drip in sweat right here, baby. Are you? Let's go. Oh, I'm doing something completely different too. Occasionally that happens. That's okay, girl. Keep moving the body. Keep trusting it. Drop that knee down super low when you hit that reverse lunge. As low as you can go. Last four. Last three. Two. And one. Go ahead and drop that weight. Towel off, grab water. Oh my goodness, that was a sweaty one. So we've made it through that block of work. This is your opportunity to take a 30 second break. So towel off, and most importantly, grab water. I want you grabbing water, hydrating before, during, and after all your workouts. Mm. In five seconds, we hit it again. So grab those weights, baby. We go after it together with the squat front raise overhead press. Let's get it. Let's go, join me. Give me that press. Woo! This is a really good time to check in with yourself. And honestly, to allow yourself to feel gratitude for moving your body however it moves. It is a win, girl. It is not easy to take this time out to show up for yourself, but that's what falling in love with yourself is all about. It's about taking the time out, scheduling it into your day-to-day -day life, so that you can just fall in love with yourself, fall in love with your strength every single day. Stay with me, you got another 10 seconds. Beautiful. I feel your energy, girl, come on. Last four, three, two, and one. Take that rest. This time, I'm gonna take it with you. I'm gonna take it with you, because I don't need to demo it for you. You know exactly what's gonna happen. You're gonna separate your feet wide, bring those weights down in front of you. We go into that lunge in three, Two, one, lunge it. Give me that row. It's a double row once again. Switch sides. Beautiful. So I'm reaching my arm out to the side. Helps me make sure that my back is nice and flat. Also takes away the temptation of just laying all my weight right here on my, on my thigh, right? Cool, stay in it with me. Woo, continue to breathe, girl. There's something really empowering about knowing exactly what to expect. You know exactly what to expect. So stay in this with me. You've done it once, you can absolutely do it again. Last four, last three, last two, and one. Beautiful, 15 second recovery. I'm sweating, so I'm gonna towel it off. We move into that halo to reverse lunge. So remember, for that one, you only need the one weight. Move the other one out of the way. We go together in three, in two. Let's get it, girl. Give me that halo. I'm already in the lunge. I'm so excited to do the lunge. Give me the halo and then step it back. Again, if your body is like mine and sometimes it starts to move really weird and you're like doing something else, totally cool. Keep your joints stacked. Control your belly, control your breath, and just keep moving. Eventually, your body will join me doing this. Come on, girl. You got this. Beautiful. You've got another 15 seconds here. All right, queen, we got this. Last four. Last three. Last two. Ooh, give me one more. Ah, nice. All right, towel off. Grab that water. You get that 30 second recovery. Keep hydrating. And then after this class, Promise me, promise me that you're gonna make it a priority to get a Tone It Up smoothie right after this. Get your Tone It Up protein on, girl. You're gonna need it after this workout, all right? All right, so go ahead and grab your weights. You're gonna give me an Arnold press. You've seen this before. Palms are in and out. You'll join me in three, two, one. Here we go. Slight bend in the knees. Palms are in and then they're out. Now, if you'd like to come down to the knees to focus strictly on the weights, you are more than welcome to. If you'd like to take just one arm at a time, totally fine. Stay in the movement. Notice that your palms are facing in. 
and then they're pressing out. Good. Woo. So now we're working into the shoulders, girlfriend. 15 seconds. It is gorgeous here in Austin. Look at how beautiful it is here at Studio Tone It Up. Whew. Great day to be moving your body. Last two and one, good. Give me that 15 second recovery. You're gonna give me a deadlift into a Zotman curl, palms face up and down. It's a deadlift into a Zotman. We go together in three, two, one. Here it is, hinge from the hips, press back up with power, palms up, then palms down. Hinge from the hips, lift up, palms up and down. But I want you to see something from the side. You stay in it. Notice how my booty is going towards the back wall that's behind me, yeah? You're not squatting. You're not sinking and doing all the things, right? You are hinging belly and tight, slight bend in the knees. You're going to that place where you feel that slight pull in your hamstrings. So it's different for everybody. I have really tight hamstrings, so I'm not going all the way down. You may, that's okay. Beautiful. Last four. Last three. Last two. And one, girl. Ah, nice job. Towel off. Woo. It is a scorcher today, baby. And I mean the workout. Also the weather, but the workout. All right, we're gonna go into a high front pull, into a side raise. Join me right away. Looks like this. High front pull, side lateral raise. Join me, girl. Don't wait on it. Don't sleep on this one, all right? So again, we start off with abs because I really want you to feel your abs. You should feel them engaged. Once again here, if it serves you, you can take this one arm at a time. If you'd prefer to bend down to your knees to focus strictly on those weights, girlfriend, do it. If you have a bench nearby, that's fine. Wherever you're at, what do I say? Keep it moving, girl. Just keep it moving. That's the name of the game. All right, we've got less than Eight seconds left, come on. Last four, last three, two, and one. Good, recover. All right, you know what time it is. Time to hit the whole round one more time, yeah? Woo, we start with that Arnold press. I'm gonna grab that sip of water. I hope you do too. Once again, cheers. Mm. Continue to breathe. Towel off, grab water. We go together. In five, four, three, two, give me the Arnold press. Palms are in and then they're out. Beautiful. So I want you to think about the last time you truly just felt love for yourself. It might even just be right now. That's okay. But I want you to channel that self-love in every single workout that you do. When you do it in the workout, I have full faith that you can channel that love everywhere you go in the world. It starts here with the workout, but it truly ends with you. Love yourself, trust yourself, you got this girl. Come on, we are in it together. Last four, last three, last two, and one. Beautiful, take that 15 second recovery. We move into the deadlift, into the Zotman curl in just about 10 seconds. All right. If you're feeling frisky, now's a great time to grab a heavier set of weights. Why not? You're here. I'm gonna stick with these though. I'm using fives, you ready? Here we go. Hinge from the hips, give me the Zotman. But when I do press play at home, cause I do the tone it up workouts myself at home. I know that's kind of crazy to hear, but I do. I do the meditations with Karina at home. So when I press play at home, when I'm not on set, I will definitely grab a heavier set of weights. So let that be the encouragement to you to do the same if it serves you today. Come on, baby. Woo! Always a gift to be here with my Tone It Up sisters. Ah, oh, the other trainers are fabulous. Thank you for being a part of this family. Come on, girl, you got another four. Last three. We can get in one more, last two. And one, beautiful. All right, last move of this block of work. It's the high front pull into the side raise. I'm toweling off because I told you in Palm Springs before that it was super hot. I'm telling you this time it is really hot. Give me the high pull to side raise, like really, really hot in Austin. 
but Austin's kind of a hot city, you know? So it's quite fitting that it's hot. All right, baby, stay with me. You're pulling up to shoulder height, no higher. Keep a micro bend in all of your joints. Yes, so again, make sure you're not locking out in the knees. Always the option to alternate the arms here. You've got another 20 seconds. Beautiful. <sighs> Here's the good part. You never regret doing the workout, right? Sometimes it's hard to get here, but you don't regret it once you're here, right? I don't regret it. Come on, girl. Last three, two, and one. Beautiful 30-second recovery. We made it. Woo, the good news, or the even better news, is that we get to lie down on our back. But we're not done yet, though. You know that. So lie down with me. Join me on your back. All right, you're gonna grab two weights for me. I recommend you go medium heavy for this, so not super heavy. We're gonna start off with a back bridge into delt raise with knee ups. So here you go. I just want you to start with just the delt raise first. Here we go. The armpits, or I guess, I like how Dahlia calls this the pits of the elbows, Coach Dahlia says. I'm gonna agree with her. The pits of the elbows are right next to your ears here. Now, moving on, I want you to go ahead and lift up one knee at a time. If it serves you, you can raise your booty fully off the ground. You can keep it on the ground too, that's okay. But I want you really working into the delts here. Good, continue to breathe. Exhale every time you lift the weights up. Good, so I wanted to show you that in a progressive way so that you remember it's important to just do what serves you. Next time you come back, you'll start right away with whatever progression serves you best. Give me 15 second recovery right here. We're gonna move into a narrow chest press. It's gonna look like this. Press up, driving through the heels, and then you're gonna press down. Keep the weights together. You ready? Join me, let's get it, let's go, right away. So I want you squeezing the weights together. As you drive through the heels to lift the booty up, you are pressing up with a narrow chest press. You are slowly lowering down with control, both through the legs and the arms here. Good, you got 30 seconds, girl. All right, now if you wanna make this a little more challenging, you can separate the weights here and lower down. You'll really start to feel the triceps engage here as well as the chest. And you can also take this one arm at a time. Again, if you haven't noticed, I'm into taking the one arm at a time anytime you need to because that's what it comes down to. One day at a time, one arm at a time, whatever you need, girl, keep moving. Last two and one, beautiful. Final move of this block of work. You ready for it? You're gonna come up to that high bridge and you're gonna give me just an overhead tricep. Yeah? We go together in three, in two. Join me, girl, I don't wanna do this by myself. We are stronger together. We're here for 45 seconds. All right, so let's talk about some modifications, some options that you have here. First things first, before we get into it, I want you to make sure that your elbows are stacked right over your shoulders. You're slowly lowering the weights behind your head. I like to keep them pressed together. If you're looking for a more advanced option, you're gonna separate the weights. If this feels like Chevy, too much, not for me today, just grab one weight. Grab the big ends of the rubber, the big ends of the weight, in both hands, still ensuring that your elbows are stacked, yeah? You can also drop the booty and just focus strictly on the triceps. Last three, last two, and one. Beautiful. All right, girl, so, so good. We gotta hit that one one more time. So here's the deal. You are gonna come back to your back. We go together in three, in two, in one. All right, so this time, You've got the muscle memory on your side. So come to the variation that serves you. We talked about the options. Now is that chance for you to go ahead and hit it hard, girl. Let's go. Continue to breathe. So you're exhaling every time you're doing the work. In this case, that is lifting the weights. Exhale. Yes, beautiful. You still have a micro bend in the elbows here. Beautiful, you got 15 seconds. Let's get it. Make this one of your strongest moments yet. Last 10. All right. Here we go, last three, last two, and one. Beautiful. 
Oh, I don't know about you, but I am looking forward to that recovery and cool down. You? Okay, you know what you gotta do, chest press. We go into that bridge chest press together in three, two, one. Here we go. I did give you a faster recovery that round. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right, come on. Woo. All right, girl. Feel yourself pushing away any negative energy that you need to let go of. Pulling towards you more of the energy that allows you to fall in love with yourself. Pull it towards you. Good. You have less than 15 seconds right here, queen. Woo, how many more can you get in this last 10 seconds? Get it, girl. Keep them strong, but focus on getting it done. Last four, last three, last two, and one. Good, all right, one more move. Overhead triceps, ready? Here we go, we go together in just about five seconds or so. Come on up to that bridge hole. Let's start a little early. We go right now, baby. Uh, overhead triceps for the win. All right, so continue to drive through the heels. Lift your booty up. If for any reason this feels uncomfortable for you, you can always stand up and just take the overhead tricep too. That is also a choice. But the choice that I will not allow you to make today is to quit. We are in the home stretch. Stay with me. You got 20 seconds left, girl. Beautiful. I feel it in my triceps. Come on, do you? I know you do. I know you do. I designed it that way, girl. I want you to feel it because you deserve to feel strong today and every single day. You've got four, last three, last two, and one. Ooh, so, so good, girlfriend. Uh. Nothing like good old-fashioned tone it up, full body workout, right? All right, I really, really want you to celebrate what you did for you. Simple as that, celebrate what you did for you. It's not easy to show up, you did it, you put in the work, high five, all right? Let's stretch it out. Shall we stretch it out real quick? All right, so first things first, just come to a seated position, whatever feels really good and comfortable for you. And let's start with the upper body, shall we? Just shake it out. Give me some spirit fingers, yeah? All right, girlfriend, take one arm up and over, and then you can lean over to the side. Nothing like a good old fashioned bring it on reference. If you haven't seen bring it on and you don't know what spirit fingers are, yes, I'm aging myself, I'm the 40 plus crowd. <laughs> hey girl, hey to my 40 year olds, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, if you haven't seen it, please watch it. Bring it on, okay? I digress, I digress, Chevy. I get really silly on set, because I just am who I am everywhere I go. And that's actually one of the things that I love most about myself, is that I'm not trying to be somebody else. And I encourage you to do the same. Take this arm over, give me a deep inhale, and exhale, settle into being you, unapologetic. Take it the other way. And exhale. Let's hit the legs real quick. You're gonna reach one leg out, take an inhale, lengthen through the spine on your exhale, reach forward. Give me a long back here, take another inhale. On your exhale, round, sink just a little bit deeper. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Let's hit it on the other side real quick. Take an inhale right here, lengthen through your spine. On your exhale, reach forward. Oh, nothing like the stretch though, huh? One more, take an inhale. On your exhale, round, sink just a little bit deeper. If you're super flexy, maybe your head is touching your knee, go for it, go for it, girl. Two deep breaths, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. One more, inhale. And open mouth, exhale. <sighs> All right. Woo, congratulations, girl. I am so proud of you. Your entire Tone It Up family is proud of you. Thank you for showing up for you and crushing it today. I can't wait to see you next time in the Tone It Up app. Until then, I'm your coach, Chevy. Make sure you use hashtag T-I-U, fall for you, every time you check in with us on IG. I can't wait to see you next time, baby. Mwah. Crushed it.